Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name's Catherine from Soul Siren Tarot, here to do your January reading. I'm back now, I had some work in the 3D I had to do which was part of my own spiritual journey and I'm going to do a separate video about that because I'm telling you it's been a challenge, right? But here I am, I'm back. So, Sagi, if you're new to the channel, it's a general reading, it's not going to resonate with everybody. If it does, great, I hope it helps you. If it doesn't, just kick it to the curb. If you know somebody it would help, please do share. And if you are new and you do enjoy the channel please do subscribe please do like the video um, just to help us keep the channel growing i'm taking a sacred forest card i've just been leading these readings for january with those just to see where we are in the journey wow someone else had this can't remember right i think anyway it doesn't matter maple spirit one of the earlier signs had this right generosity this is about appreciating how far you've come right this is about enjoying the fruits of your labor it's about sitting in nature can you see the glow all around this tree there's many fruits there's many abundance here for you right i feel this is a sad you has been on quite the journey right and you all have i mean people who are listening to tarot typically are on some sort of spiritual journey whether they've come through it whether they're going into the next phase of it or they're just on it doesn't matter you know that's what these readings are for that's why all the readers are out here to guide you over that sort of that bridge into the next realms into the next dimensions and i just feel this is a sad you you're almost like you're so fertile you're ready to pop right almost empress energy maple spirit is about enjoying nature enjoying and being generous with where you are because i feel like right i'm going to say it's actually people look up to you now people look up to you they see what you've achieved right they see they see the fruits of your labor and what you've achieved and the blossoming of you i also feel there's someone in your energy uh, I, I, I want to say in your past right but I feel you've woke this person up I don't know why I'm getting that message but I feel you've woke this person up because this may have been someone who you were in a tussle with a tug of war with who you know could be a love relationship could be a boss could be you know whatever the situation you had to leave behind because it was pulling you down that's what I want to say Sadie. it was pulling you down now you've glowed up now you're in this beautiful maple spirit you know it's, it's like you've woke this person up they can see you and you are about to get abundance coming into your life beauty and growth right and this person can see it maybe they're seeing the error of the ways it can be a family member you know maybe you had to prove yourself against all the doubters Sadja. maybe you did right all the doubters maybe you were doing something quirky something different and they all thought what are you doing right she's never going to get anywhere he's never going to get anywhere and now you are you sat in the glory of it right this person wants to come back in right they want to come in with an offer but I, I i also feel this can represent something new coming in as well so you take it how it resonates right no because I, I don't feel we're necessarily dealing with a bad person i'm going to say sadly from your past so if you're thinking about that toxic ex they're always going to watch on and be madly jealous about how far you've got right they always are but i feel like there's someone maybe someone you were interested in but they kept they weren't showing the interest back because the knight of cups can be a very slow moving energy right but the more you're glowing and blooming you're waking this person up to i want to say sag who you really are an earth angel right male or female that's what i'm feeling sag yeah? and maybe that was your job to do right that was your job to do because when we go along our journeys our spiritual journeys we'll meet many soulmates along the way you know we'll, we'll meet the good the bad and the ugly we will but there's a reason for each one whether whether they hurt you and it was to push you on right and, and give you your spiritual growth whether it was someone who was just going to join you for a season i'm going to say that right just part because not everyone's meant to be together forever they're not right you meet many soulmates in your lifetime and you know if someone stays married to someone for i don't know 50 years whatever it may be it doesn't matter they'll still meet other soulmates along the way so take it as it resonates for you um but this person um whoever it is i, th I feel has been sort of you've wanted to connect with them on the journey but they've not they've not reached out and connected back but they're about to that's what i say because you as you keep showing them your your glow your beauty your abundance right and this is not monetary by the way you know that right look <laughs> they see you as their ten of pentacles right 
It could be an extra in the past if it's an ex that you want returning. It could be. It, but I just get a sense it's someone new, if I'm honest with you, Sagittarius. Someone who you've got your eye on. That's what I feel. Someone who you've got your eye on and they're thinking, whoa, right? Because when we're looking at pentacles energy, when we look at sort of the seven of pentacles, right, it's very much like... Um, it's often a maiden, isn't it? Remember, it's male or female, and they're all in the basket. Look like a peasant dressed in peasant clothing. So, if someone didn't see your worth, they see it now. That's what I'm getting, Sagittarius. They see it now, right? You, you're glowing, you're blooming, you're keeping doing you because you know you'll give yourself your own ten of pentacles, right? Because you brought yourself, I knew it, right, I'll show you in a minute. You brought yourself out of this, this five of cups energy, grieving, sadness, down, depressed, focusing on what went wrong and you turned around and you picked those two of cups up and that's another sign for me that this knight of cups coming in is for a divine union, a soulmate union, right? They might not have seen it at first. Maybe Maybe they were stuck in this energy still, you know, they were a little bit behind you on the journey and they've got to catch up. So it could be that it's that sad, but catch up they will because what did I say to you? With that maple spirit, couldn't be clearer, he's the empress. That's you, Sagittarius. Blooming, about to give birth to a new life. And they also say that you are so unique right, in who you are, you are the queen of all queens, right, not gender specific, queen of all queens, and you do not find one of them every day, you are blooming right now, look at you, look at that maple spirit, Sad. you are absolutely blooming, and giving birth to that new life here, can you see the foundation, the water, you know, looks slightly pregnant because you're blossoming, right, you're bringing it, you see who you are now, you've woke this person up, that's what you've done, so keep doing what you're doing, because mirroring that knight of cups here, I've got the nine of wands, I think they've been sort of still carrying their own burdens on the defence, you know, almost like not letting anybody in, I'm not letting anybody in, right, and maybe, you know, Sagi, because you're so, you're very much about, I'm going to get on my horse, I'm going to go after what I want, right, that's what Sagi does, right, don't mess about, I'm going to go after what I want, but I feel this person might have been like that, might have felt a bit much, because, you know, it, it, it's, it's like that uh, energy, isn't it, of, of sort of, if you chase, you can make someone back away, right, you can, right, but if you just sit in your power, you allow your energy to just flow, and you keep focusing on you and blooming in that Empress energy, they start to sort of feel drawn in, and that's what this Sagittarius is doing, right, you're drawing them in, just by being you, yeah, loving your abundance, loving your happiness, it might just be simple, I knew it, right, I'll show you in a minute, it might just be, you know, you're going to work on like a really high vibe, right, and you're just, you're sat at your desk, you're doing your job, or whatever your job is that you do, and you're humming, and you're singing, you're just happy, right, and, and they're not like sort of thinking, um, you know, you're not looking at them per se, you're not paying them any attention, you know, you might say good morning, you know, that sort of thing, but you're just doing what you do, and enjoying your day, and that makes them just feel so attracted in, I knew it, look at this, right, nine of pentacles, this is the Empress in the Minor Arcana. The seven, so the Seven of Pentacles often flips into the Nine of Pentacles, which is the Empress in the Minor Arcana, and then it goes into the full Empress. This is coming under that nine of, uh, uh, Knight of Cups, right? So they've been watching your journey, right? You might not think they're watching. You might not catch them giving you a bit of a light look, or you might not know if they're asking questions behind the scenes. But I'm telling you now, this person, you've woken them up out of their dark space without even realising what you're doing Sagittarius right I do think it's a love relationship but it could be a friend it could be a family member you, like you're not trying hard you know you're not sitting someone down to say you, you need to do this you need to do that you need to do the other that's not what you're doing you are just by being you and putting out that energy and that love and that happiness you are drawing, you are magnetic, Sag, you are magnetic, right, it's definitely someone coming in, look, under that ten of pentacles, soulmate, right, I think I just had this for Scorpio, soulmate, without a doubt, you're meeting them on your path, it's coming under that ten of pentacles, it's coming next to that uh, uh, nine of pentacles, you are pulling them in, 
right whoever this is for you'll know it right so i just want to say to you sag don't stop being your beautiful self but you might need to just rein your horse back in a little bit you know you might just need to look at this as i say it's lovely right six of pentacles this is getting more balanced look at my poor cards right it's because i use them all the time right can you see you're balancing the scales right equal give and take in other words you know, you say good morning to me, I'll say good morning to you, yeah? You offer me a cup of tea, I'll offer you a cup of tea, right? It's this sort of energy, you know, keeping that nice balance, not charging in, right? Because you know this person, whoever this is, whether, again, it's a friend job, or it's right for you. But if you keep throwing yourself at it, I've got to say it, right? You're going to send it the other way. Just allow it, reciprocate, work with that energy, keep being you, joyful, happy. It's coming under that five of cups, you're waking this person up, you are. You are going to have, because look at it with it, two sixes now, six of wands, right? Victory and success, it's coming under the empress. The empress knows how to do it, right? The empress knows how to bring about the new life that they want. She knows how to draw in the energy that she wants. Yeah, she does it very quietly. She does it, you know, in one of the decks, she's kind of, she's got a hood up, you know, um, and because it, it's literally, she's just moving in her own energy. She's not shouting out to the world. She's not spending hours with someone saying, do you think, do you think, do you think? She just does it. She just knows it. She just feels it. And so she manifests it in. She knows how to create victory and success in her life, right? And as I say it, you are pushing, look at this, under that nine of wands, you are, you are sort of encouraging this person to go through their own death and rebirth. So it might be it takes a minute, right, Sarge? And you might be thinking, oh, bloody hell, you know, I don't know, I've got patience for that. But you don't stop and wait for anyone, do you? You keep doing you. This person will come into your life when they're meant to come into your life, right? But you're forcing whatever you're doing. I say force, I don't mean that like as in a manipulative way, but you're your energy, your happiness is making this person wake up and go through a death and rebirth, right? And maybe that's your job on this soulmate journey. You might find, honestly, right, I've got to say it's sad, that if, if it takes a while and the point they start to come round and come in, you might be saying, oh, I've moved on from there, no. But, I, you know, as a soulmate, that was a, what I was meant to do, right? But they see you as their star right they see you as their star but you have completed your healing they're only just starting going through it with the death being there look and the world's coming out as well absolutely right you you was there and you've completed it they see you there and they want to get here that's what i see right sagittarius maybe just for one of you but it's beautiful love coming in so you'll know if this resonates if there's somebody who you sort of feel pulled to feel drawn to you know you're being asked to pull back a little bit and focus on you focus on your energy because just by being naturally enigmatic and beautiful that you are in all of this abundance all of the growth you've achieved because you don't get to the empress without having gone through an absolute hell ride you just don't right but you're not going to stop moving you're not going to wait stand still for this person to catch up you're going to keep going and if they decide because remember they've got free will of whether to break free of what it is that's been holding them back right <clears throat> If they choose to stay there, they choose to stay there. You're not going to waste time with that. But I feel this person is going to get up, is going to be drawn forward, and they're going to have to start a sprint to catch up with you, Sarge. That's what I feel, right? Because you know your worth. You know your worth. Okay, tell me what's immediately next on this star, this world. Please, Spirit, just clarify for Sarge. What have we got to expect on this star and this world? It's beautiful, right? Yeah healing four of swords they're still in a period of healing the kneeling with so the four of swords is my get the fuck up card right you've had your time to heal it comes after the three which is heartbreak it's time to get up but they they've got to make that decision death and rebirth they see you as the star they see you glowing light they want to get up and follow your light right you've completed but don't hang back just keep being the beautiful you looking again keeping focused on what you have your maple spirit the abundance you've created in your life you know just keep focusing on that they've got to decide to come out of that four of swords energy but i think they will i think they will i think you've woke this person up with your shining light you are their star 
the Empress. What more can you say? Right, Sag. I want to take an angel over this reading for Sagittarius, please. Right. Stay strong, Sagger. And as for you, look at that. Oh my gosh. I've just split them, right? I am going to shuffle and take another, but look, I literally have just split them. Wow. Sagittarius attracting not chasing that is just unbelievable right they never fail me the divine they never do anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlying chasing energy instead attract what you need by sending out love gratitude and welcoming energy it's absolutely stunning you know think about nature right with animals if something starts to chase they don't, you might not, the animal might not even know what it is it's chasing, right? But it just senses the energy. So it takes off running. It's like, what the fuck is that? Takes off running. That's what happens, right? When you just gently are there and, and you spot it and, and then the animal can take a look, but you're sort of, I'm, I'm, I'm not looking at you. I'm minding doing, I'm here doing my thing. Magnetism, happy in your own energy. You're giving off the right vibes they start to feel drawn to that because who does not who does not want to be with an empress come on who doesn't want to be with an empress everybody wants to be with an empress right and, and, and remember the empress is rare right male and female it's rare because you've been through so much to get into that energy where you're comfortable in your own company you've got grounded you know how to manifest you know you're not giving off an air of desperation you're giving off an air of magnetism because you will wait you will take your time and you will wait for the right one to come along right and if this person you know you don't want this person coming to you in this energy you don't, because all they're going to do is drag you down and feed off your light like people from the past that you've probably experienced, right? And your glow up will start to go down because you're taking time to heal this person. This person has to get up, become whole, right? And move into that Knight of Cups and come forward with the offer that I do see they're going to do. I do think they will, right? But we've got to remember free will, but I do think they will because you only want them whole. The Empress is like, listen, I'm too busy for anything else right if you want to come to me equal that's great and let's see what magic we can create together but don't come to me until you've got your shit sorted right that's the empress right unbelievable attracting not chasing okay so i'm just going to take one more shuffle on the angel cards just to conclude this reading for my lovely sagittarius come on man i can see your journey and there's loads more soulmates on your journey as well right you may be friends you know other members of family, work colleagues. Oh, this is my favourite, right? This is my favourite. Visualise abundance in all forms, right? This is you. This is you, Sarge. God gave you such great pet spiritual power that everything you visualise eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthful, positive and filled with blessings. And that is what you will experience, right? Seriously, seriously, look at this look at this right you stay on your glow up you stay in your power sagittarius don't be distracted people will be drawn to you that are meant to be drawn to you if they're meant to be on your soul path the divine will make sure those paths cross right they absolutely will you can't make other people get up but i do feel you've woke this person up right they see you with a whole new perspective i think this is your week upcoming i think this is where you sort of move into that full energy it might be people from the past that have got you sort of dropping back down to think well am i ever going to find someone i've lost my confidence no 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 no. get that back get that back it's the their darkness they've got to break through their death and rebirth you've done yours else you wouldn't be here right so absolutely beautiful energy sagittarius trust in the process okay love it for you so i'm going to leave it there sagittarius what an absolutely stunning reading thank you so much for sticking with me if you did enjoy the reading please do like please do subscribe help me regrow the channel loving it and um, i uh we're back to do your february readings but in the meantime just keep doing you sagittarius you are rocking it you are absolutely rocking it Love and light, stay safe and see you soon.